Hello, and thanks for dropping by the pet room. I am a little perplexed by this drive. It seems okay, and I'm pretty pleased with it. But there's one thing I'm not sure about, and I'm afraid I might have to start taking it apart to figure this out. When I turn it on, behold the magic. It sounds, it sounds just fine. But when I look in from the top, I find that drive zero is doing its regular chattering thing, and drive one is not. It's kind of the, the thing that's supposed to be chattering is spinning around. Now, does this really make a difference? I don't know. It leads me to think that maybe something is missing. Like the, the, the stopper that it's supposed to be banging on isn't there. Maybe. I don't know. <sighs> so at some point, even though I really don't want to, I think I need to explore this. One thing I think I will do is go into the pool room where I have lots of drives and things and stuff. And see if I can find one that's already partially disassembled that I can have a look at. And then look for perhaps something that's missing. Because if I have, you know, I mean, that's what parts are for. If I have a drive, that's fine, but isn't quite all there. For example, like I replaced this door because it was missing. All it took was two screws. But, I mean, without that little door, and without those two screws, the drive is useless. So, does it matter that the whatever, the stopper or whatever, isn't there? Or, who knows? You know what? Maybe when I open this up, I'll find it lying in the bottom of the drive. Although, I don't think so. Because I don't hear anything rattling around. But then again, you never know. You just never know. So, I've turned it off. I'll turn it back on, and you'll be able to hear the very convincing chattering. Perhaps I'll try and find a way to show what it is that I mean. Except, see, drive one, drive one is the one that has the circuit board over top of it. So it's hard to see down inside. Um, anyway, I'll work on this and see if I can get a good shot of what it is that I mean. Anyway, until then, thanks for coming, and uh, I hope you enjoy your time in the world of Commodore. Bye for now.